Hey, Mini Modular Guy here. As I said in my previous video, I wanted to do a video on how I do the Blender animations for my Lego designs. Uh, I've been getting quite a few questions for the Island Castle when I've released my animations onto Instagram and YouTube. How do I do those animations? It's not in the Bricklink Studio software, as I said there, it's in the Blender software. But there is a quite steep learning curve to actually getting these done. You need multiple bits of software to actually do it. From what I've found, it's not as easy as it, uh, it first looks. Uh, so I'm going to do a YouTube video here on how I go through that process to getting the Lego model from Bricklink Studio out into Blender. You're going to need to download a few things to start with and a few bit, uh, different bits of software. So let's get stuck in and see what we need. So first of all, let's take a look at one of the animations that I've released onto Instagram. We'll take a quick short look at this one, so I'll play this one. Uh, as I said, this is done in Blender. So we're zooming into the castle first of all, and then we are taking a wander around the castle itself. I think in this animation that's just over a minute long, there's about just over a thousand frames of animation in this uh, 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 in this particular render. And it's probably taken around maybe 15 to 20 hours to render all the frames of this animation. So we're going to stop it just there. And then we're going to take a look at what software do you need? What plugins do you need? Add-ons do you need? to actually get a Lego model out of Bricklink Studio software into Blender. So there's a few things you'll need. First of all, you need obviously the Bricklink Studio software to create the design in the first place. You will need Blender. Uh, this is the free software that you can create these animations and quite advanced renders in. Uh, then you'll need a couple of things. Uh, once you've downloaded Blender, as you'll see here, uh, you will need the a plugin to actually import what's called LDRAW files. LDRAW files are the files you will export from Lego Studio software, and you will need to import those into Blender. So you'll need a plugin. This is available on GitHub. So it's the Import LDRAW uh, add-on by Toby Lobster. So download that and follow the instructions that will be on this website somewhere to install that into your version of Blender. I think I'm using Blender 4.3, there is uh, no 4.1, there is 4.3 available. Once you've downloaded that uh, Toby Lobster LDRAW import plugin, you need to make sure it's activated, which is a case of going to File, sorry, Edit, uh, Preferences, I'll just bring the window on so you can see it, then Add-ons, and if you scroll down here, you will need to make sure the Import LDRAW is uh, enabled. You can also uh, change some uh, settings there if you don't know. I haven't needed to do that, I don't believe. Uh, I've just need to make sure that tick is uh, ticked and enabled for that import LDRAW. So as I said, LDRAW are the files you will be importing into Blender from Studio, but you will need another bit of software first to do that. So I'll go back to here. You will need LeoCAD. Uh, so what I found is that when you do the export from Studio itself, some parts will be missing in that LDRAW export. Some of the newer parts won't be in the LDRAW library that's behind Studio to export out into the file that you import into Blender. What I found is, uh, from other users as well on the internet, uh, LeoCAD is a great bit of software as again. Again, it's for uh, creating Lego models uh, in software but you can add extra parts to that and actually it uses LDRAW files so you can add the parts to the setup behind LeoCAD, add them to your model and then save that file for the final import into Blender. So again, you'll need Blender, you'll need Studio, you will need the Toby Lobster import LDRAW add-in and you will need LeoCAD to be able to create these. You will also need to go to LDRAW.org and the library part of LDRAW.org as we can see on the screen here because you're going to need to download some extra parts. So I'll kind of demonstrate this process as much as possible. So if we go to Studio, for example, first, uh, if I was to export this particular model, I know from doing this, first of all, that some of the parts will be missing in the file when you import into Blender. So for example, some of the leaves here, some of those big leaves there, and the dragon uh, part for the branch there, and some of the curves here will be missing. There may be some other bricks missing as well. Some of the three by two uh, inverted slopes here were missing as well, and I had to add those in. Now, from Studio itself, uh, you will do a file, and you can't, you won't be able to see this in the video because it's slightly off the screen, but you will do a file export as, and export as LDRAW. So go to the file menu in Studio, export 
export as LDRAW and you'll be able to create an LDRAW file. Now, hopefully I have that here in the background. Uh, you will see I've exported it there and I've got a LDR file here that I've exported. Now, if I import that into Blender, I know there would be bits missing. So what I have to do first is import it into LeoCAD, which again is another bit of software. If I show on the screen there, you will download that and it will download. I'm on a Mac, so it'll be a DMG file. If I right click on that one and do open, uh, you'll see here that I've got it here and I've already imported the file that's come out of studio and you can see those parts missing there within LeoCAD. I need to get those parts into LeoCAD first and then use the parts in LeoCAD as much as possible uh, and then save the file and then do the import into Blender. First, I need to change the default library path within LeoCAD to one I've downloaded. So you will download the full library from LDRAW.org. Uh, somewhere in here, I can't remember where it is on the website, but it should be easy to find, is you will download the full library uh, and then you will place it in a particular location. For me, I have uh, placed it within just a file, uh, a directory and done a copy of the LDRAW uh, library that I've downloaded into here you will see license files config files make list files in here and you'll see three particular directories models p just the letter p and parts those two main folders p and parts will claim uh, uh, contain a lot of dot dat files those are the part descriptions for each of the parts within the lego library and the LDRAW library so keep an eye on those for the moment because we're going to use those in a minute uh, I've now got a spinning icon for some reason. I will close that again and go down to my Blender import demo. You'll see some numbered files there and I'll, I'll explain those in a minute. So for example, if I go back to Studio, I know that when I import it into Blender and LeoCAD, as we saw there, that these leaves are missing, for example. These particular green leaves are not in the LDRAW export from Studio yet. Uh, I know from looking down here that that is part 5058. So I need to get that part into LeoCAD itself to be able to use. So I will first go to the LDRAW.org uh, website and I will do a search in the parts list here for 5058. I will download the zip file for that. So it's not an official part yet in LDRAW, but you, I found that you can use these parts. When more votes go into that, it will uh, enable it to be an official part and it will download the whole library. It may then come into studio at a later date. But for the moment, we need to download the zip file. If we go back to my finder, you'll see that I've downloaded the zip file here beforehand. If I look in that zip file, you will find uh, a number of folders, but mainly you will find the P folder and the parts folder. These folders will contain the specific files that you need to copy where you downloaded the copy of the LDRAW library. So remember, we've got a parts here and a P here. We need to grab some files from the download of the individual 5058 part to enable to get those into the library. So for example, in the parts library, we see a 5058.dat file. We're going to need to copy that file into the copy we downloaded the full library into the parts folder, just that single file. You will also notice in this uh, particular downloaded one uh, part, I've got an S folder as well. I need to download those two files there into the s folder that's under the parts folder i won't expand that because it will take a while to find the s folder but there's an s folder underneath that parts folder i need to copy those two dat files there into that s folder what i've tended to find is i haven't had to copy anything in from the p folder for this to work so try and ignore the p folder do not copy those parts in leave them in uh, the original download for this particular 5058 part so once I've kind of located in LeoCAD which parts are going to be missing if I did import it into Blender, uh, I can copy those particular file, individual files from the parts folder, from the downloaded part, say 5058, and anything in subfolders. It won't always have an S folder. There might be a .dat file, there might be a single .dat file in parts, there might be a couple that you need to copy over. But essentially you need to just copy those individual files into the full library that you've downloaded uh, from LDRAW.org. So uh, I know that I've copied about six parts that were missing down into the subfolders, parts, and other folders under here. So individual files. I then know that if I fire up LeoCAD, which I will do here, 
Uh, again, I will open up Leo, Leo CAD. Uh, I, again, I know that there's parts missing here. That's because LeoCAD is using the default library still. So I need to set the library uh, that LeoCAD is gonna to use to the one I've downloaded. And it's the one that I've downloaded and put in those extra .dat files for the parts that were missing. So for example, the leaves, the long curved branches and the curved bits there and some of the uh, three by two uh, inverted slopes. So to do that, to set, to, uh, to set it to a different library for LeoCAD to use, Again, you'll probably not see this directly on the screen, uh, but you have to do LeoCAD menu at the top left. I'm on a Mac. So LeoCAD preferences, then you'll see this preferences window. You will see a parts library path here. It will be currently empty. I know that I've downloaded my parts library from Eldor.org and copied those individual part files into a particular location. I will copy that location in and I will click OK. Uh, it will tell me that I need to restart LeoCAD. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I've got this file saved, so I will drop out of LeoCAD completely. I will restart LeoCAD, do an open. It will load up that parts library. Now, hopefully when I've imported this file again, so my no minifigs file, uh, you will see that the parts are now in. I'm obviously missing the dragon parts still in this library, uh, parts library here, but the leaves have come in, the curved parts have come in there. If I zoom in a tiny bit uh, here, you will see that I've obviously in this version of the, the uh, library that I've downloaded and put the parts in, I've missed that dragon tail off still. But you've got the parts that have come in there, those curved parts there. You've got the slopes that have come in underneath there. In fact, the slopes are missing from this one then. You can see a gap there, unfortunately, but I've gone to download that part. But you can see other parts that have come in, those big leaves that have come in, those, uh, I can't remember what part they're called, but they're kind of the two by two curved brown parts there for the bottom of my trees. So some of the parts have come in. Now that I've got them into LeoCAD uh, and those parts, for example, I when, I've, when I haven't got the leaves in so far, I will need to maybe place some of those parts. So if I do a search in uh, LeoCAD on the right-hand side, I'm not sure why I can't see that. I think I need to do all parts, 5058. Here's the leaf here. I will choose one of those leaves and I may need to place it particularly. Sometimes LeoCAD will know exactly where to put those parts. My old draw file, some of the times you will need to say, delete the little block here. If I go into this particular model, this sub model here, open selected model, you will see that I've got this block here that is the dragon tail, but I need to delete it first. So right click, uh, cut. And then I will need to, if I had the dragon tail part in this library that I've created, it will be in my library and I'll need to drag it on and I need to use the tools in LeoCAD to place that part in a particular location. I'll go back to the main model. So once you've got those parts in from the library on the right hand side that we've got in LeoCAD, you will then be able to fully import that model with all the parts in on LeoCAD into Blender itself. So if I go into Blender, I will import, I will do an LDRAW import, and I will go off to find the particular file. This may not have all the parts in, by the way, but we will have a look. I will do a Double click to import that one. And we will see what parts that have gone in. So if I turn off the, if I delete the Lego ground plane, which we don't need when we do the import, by the way, it will import the, for example, my island castle itself and a Lego ground plane. If you're using it in other kind of scenes in, uh, in Blender itself, you can delete the hierarchy for the Lego ground plane. Uh, what I tend to also do is, oh, I don't know what I can do on here. Uh, basically hide the main object, which doesn't hide all the sub objects, but it hides all those black lines that will come in. Then I can have a look down this model and you'll see that most of the parts have come in. You can see the leaves that come in. Again, I've still got the dragon tail missing. Uh, I will have to do that in LeoCAD first, but for the animations I've created, I've got the full parts in uh, through adding those, downloading those individual parts files for the parts I know that are missing and then adding those into the library, as I said, in LeoCAD and then also resetting the default library path in LeoCAD itself. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what I have to go through to get the missing parts into the LDRAW file itself, uh, first of all, and then save that in LeoCAD and get that file ready for the import into Blender. So again, to go through the things you will need, you will need the BrickLink Studio software to do the original design. 
you will need blender is where i work on the animations and i will do another video on how i actually create some of the animations you will find a video that i did for the maldives water villa before on how i created some of the animations there i will do another one uh, for the island castle as well to show you that so again you'll need blender for blender import you will need the toby lobster import l draw uh, add-on and make sure that's enabled. You can see that earlier in, early in this video. Make sure that's enabled in Blender to do the import itself. And finally, you will need the LeoCAD software itself to add those extra parts in that are missing into the model itself before you do the import into Blender. And really the final thing is the Eldraw website for any of those parts that are missing. Search those parts up on the Eldraw.org website, download the zip file, extract, and copy those individual files in. So hopefully that gives you an insight. If you've got any questions, please do comment on the video. As I said, this is a quite steep learning curve to actually getting this in, out of studio, into Blender. If anybody knows of anybody also uh, that knows anybody, e any easier ways to, for, for this to happen rather than having to go through LeoCAD, please do let me know in the comments as well. Please do subscribe to the, uh, the YouTube channel and follow me on Insta for lots more news on the Island Castle model. And again, some more videos on how I use Blender for the animations. Speak soon.